In rural Bangalore, Prashant KP uses his phone to pay the shopkeeper for his grocery. It's a cheaper device without internet connection. But he uses a technology that relies on sound waves to make offline proximity based payments to the grocer's point of sale machine. A bit like Bluetooth. Developed by local startup Tone Tag, such tech could become critical in taking India's payments revolution to the bottom half of the country that still can't afford smartphones. For consumers who are on feature phone or who are digitally illiterate, right, if they have to do the same transfer, just imagine they have to go to the nearest bank branch. They have to spend like 50 rupees just going there and then coming back. We want to really make sure that they can avail these at a low cost just like the way you and me are consuming these services. Tone Tag has only recently received a green signal on its offering from India's central bank, but isn't permitted to charge a transaction fee to merchants, which it says is a key obstacle to growth. Besides the regulatory hurdles, limited smartphone penetration and lack of internet access to millions of Indians, it's digital illiteracy in semi-urban and rural areas like these that remains a major challenge for the further democratization of payments in India. These digital literacy buses run by an NGO in rural Maharashtra are addressing this issue at least for one part of India's demographic. They go from village to village teaching women the basics of using a mobile wallet or an ATM machine. It's not only made their life easier, but is bringing about an attitude change among women and their approach to money. They've started taking back control of their finances from men, but building trust has been our biggest challenge. Growing incidents of fraud and dominance of cash make trust building a difficult job in this part of the world. But with a mobile phone and a bank account pretty much in every home now, sweeping change is imminent and inevitable.